Well, I think that I'm, I'm interested in making all types of films, ultimately. But I think for the first three films that I've made, um, I'm attracted to very human stories, human um, stories which, which I feel that um, one can almost, almost, although um, a couple of them are period pieces, that you can almost recognise of today. I think that um, The Tonta Woman is a very feminine piece, is a story of empowerment. I'm very interested in themes of empowerment, especially for women. Um, I think they're very relevant um, to society today where women are still, for the most part, downtrodden and not given the sort of um, chances that men have. Um, and I think this film, um, The Keeping Room, um, what attracted me to it was the fact that you, know, you have three strong female roles um, where the women do really come to the fore. And although it's a period piece, the way they relate, the way they have to survive, the way they work together as friends is something which is very relevant today and it's ultimately quite modern themes within the film, you know. So, I don't know, I think ultimately I would love to do some fantasy actually, you know, do something more escapist. It was really amazing working with the three girls actually because they're so, they're such intelligent women and they're so very different as characters. Um, I loved it actually and I've never had a problem relating or working with women so for me it was very easy to you know get under the skin with them if you like and and become um, very close to them which I needed to do to really get the most of them or help get the most of them in the film. Um, it was a wonderful experience and I think a rare experience because mostly as a director you end up working with male characters and male leads so to actually work with female lead characters, very unusual and, and it was really rewarding for me actually. Well, my, my approach wasn't to play her like a slave. My, my approach was to see the woman who lived under that, you know, the veil of slavery. And, you know, and it was trying to tap into things in myself that helps me, helped me deal with the struggle of finding my personal identity, which is what I think was a huge motivating factor for Matt. My character in The Keeping Room is Henry and he is a something called a bummer which is a soldier that is sent forward from the rest of the force to forge for food and supplies and basically he's become ravaged by war and is kind of a you know he's he's a bit lost and a very very bad person what research and experience did you have to gain before being able to play a role who, of somebody who's basically, as you said, a bad person? <laughs> um, well, I, I just did a lot of um, I did a lot of research into um, people from the time and looking at photographs from the era. And one of the photographs from that era is so stark. Anyway, people show no emotion; they're almost like death masks. And so looking at a lot of those and steeping myself in their kind of, the portraiture was really useful. And then I read a lot about Billy the Kid, who was actually fought in the Civil War, and he was this outlaw bandit, and did some really, really bad things. And so kind of used his mythology to kind of, I don't know, help get into the mindset. How does this contrast to some of the other roles? You've got a Monsters Dark Continent also at the festival this year. So how does this kind of contrast? Well, I think... Both characters are lost, but in different ways. The one in Monsters, Dark Continent, is um, he's, there, there's just no opportunity for him in, in Detroit, and so he, the best thing that he could possibly do is go and join the military. And I think probably the same reason is why Henry is where he is in the keeping room, but he is, is a much darker character than, than Inklar in Monsters, Dark Continent. So... Um, it, it, was, it was quite useful, I mean, I don't know, like playing two different soldiers, but like but very, very different characters. He's attached to um, Munotaru's character, Mad, the slave. Um, he was, the uh, story is that he was a um, slave that worked at the plantation, joined the Union Army and deserted from the army, and is riding back to find his love. Um, I watched a couple of films um, and some TV documentaries. Um, I spoke to Muna quite a lot, we were in conversation and read emails and documentation and stuff, try to be as authentic as possible, really. Um, I hope they enjoy the sentiment of it, um, of my role. Um, Bill is very, very, you know, at the heart of uh, Mad's character. 
that's the love that she's always had and you know she's hoping for him to come back and he does come back but not in the way that she envisaged obviously the film works on quite a couple of different sensitive subjects like slavery and also american civil war um so what was kind of the atmosphere like both on set and off set when filming such a film i think because the script is so good um we had a chance to sit down and talk amongst ourselves about everything and this and the onset atmosphere was fantastic really 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 good um and the subject matter just seemed to have it was it was hung in the air but it wasn't a problem for us